Hello everyone, this is Samina. Welcome to my channel, to my reading room. Those of you who are regulars here know that I usually have my dog Boo Boo with me during these reviews. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, he will not be joining us uh, for a while because uh, he is currently in a place with a large yard and a lot of other dogs where he can play and have fun and run as he should be. Because during the this lockdown stuff, uh, well, <laughs> I can't offer him because going only... Uh, close to close to home uh, wouldn't be fun for him so it's it's good for us to stay inside but uh, yeah our pets don't understand so I've made the tough decision of uh, well, it wasn't actually tough because he's having a good time and I'm hoping to help a local business keep up in this way so uh, the thing is that Bubu will not be joining us for a while but hopefully things will settle and you'll see the both of us <laughs> soon <laughs> okay for those of you who do not know who are new to this channel this is a book review channel and my dog you have a picture of my dog in my uh, channel you have that circle thing that's that's my dog all right uh, today uh, we're going to talk about uh, the Gormangast novels by Mervyn Peak. Uh, these are, uh, I think it's one of the most uh, underrated book series and one of the hardest to classify. People call it fantasy and yes it is fantasy but a uh, very very unique type of fantasy. <laughs> And uh, I don't think there is anyone quite like, uh, there's any other book quite like Gormangast. All right. Um, it's made of three, sort of four books, but uh, I've, only, I've only read the three. I know there's another one, I think, but Unfinished. I don't know if it's uh, written by, finished by the author, because I know. Uh, the author died, I think, shortly, either before finishing the fourth book or even shortly after. Uh, it takes place mostly in a castle, which is called Gormangast, and it's uh, not your typical type of castle because throughout uh, the first two novels take place there. Throughout this time, you don't really know uh, how big it is, how many people there are. Sometimes there seem to be a lot, sometimes there seem to be only a family and a few servants. So it's kind of, uh, it's very confusing. And the castle is described as very dark, very uh, gloomy. There's a very strange atmosphere. Everything is bound by rituals, by things that you can't really understand and there's a bit of, I wouldn't say absurd, but I say, I say a bit of element, uh, an element of the grotesque in all of this. And uh, yeah, the atmosphere is very gloomy. And it starts, it starts with uh, the birth of uh, uh, the heir of the family who lives there. The family is called Grown. And uh, it starts with the birth of a boy called Titus Grown. He also has an older sister. And he is, he is the heir of that, of that castle. And it uh, starts with his birth. It uh, mentions some conflicts between servants, some uh, events, unforeseen events that take, that take place there. Uh, intrigues but everything is is very uh kind of like mysterious you don't really it's more focused on the atmosphere than on what is happening and these are the first two books so the first one is when titus is uh, still a baby the second one is when he's a child 
and at the end of the second one he will leave uh, Gormengast and the, the, the third book is called Titus Alone and you see uh, his adventures outside the castle because he decides to leave it and then uh, he wonders if he shouldn't return because the world outside uh, is a bit of a disappointment to him. I think uh, the world inside of the castle was a disappointment to him at one point. That's why he left. So it's uh, yeah, it's very character. The third one is quite character driven. The the other two, they have this mixture of strange humor of like uh, weird. I wouldn't say gothic, but this type of dark atmosphere that you don't really know what to do with it, but you feel the atmosphere and you feel the mood of the castle, so you feel it very, very deeply. And uh, that's that's one of the reasons why uh, it's a good book. It's, it's quite long and quite descriptive, but I think that for people who like long descriptive books, because, you know, there are people who actually like descriptions in books and people who actually like long books. And especially now it would keep you busy, <laughs> right? So it's it's a very, very unique type of story. Now, um, because, uh, well, because it's classified as fantasy, a lot of people uh, compare it to Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. I think Gormengast was either before or contemporary. And the thing is, guys, I, I love Lord of the Rings. It's my favorite book ever. It's always going to keep a very, very special place in my heart. And uh, yeah, I, I'm even afraid of doing a review of it because <laughs> there's there's no words. So it's, it's uh, my rela relationship to Tolkien's work and to Lord of the Rings is right now more personal than anything. I grew up with it and yeah I'm not going to deny its merit because it has a lot of merit but the thing is comparing Lord of the Rings to uh, Gormengast in my opinion is like comparing let's say uh, chocolate with pasta so I love both they're both awesome, right? So you wouldn't say what's best if if you ask somebody what's best, chocolate or pasta. But they're, they're they're so different. You can't you can't compare them really. <laughs> you can't. It's you like them both for different reasons. One because I know it's sweet and something. The other one because well, it keeps you satisfied it does it takes away your hunger and also because it, it tastes good but not in the same way as chocolate tastes good okay so comparing uh lord of the rings to gormengast is why why sh why would you do that i mean okay so technically they're both fantasy technically very technically but here's the thing lord of the rings is very dynamic novel. It's the characters move from one place to another and about 90% of the book is the characters going from one place to another. So it's a dynamic novel that reveals the world bit by bit. Uh, Titus, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Gormengast, except for Titus alone, uh, but even that has a bit of difference between Lord of the Rings. So Gormengast, especially the first two volumes, take place in one single fixed place. It's a static kind of novel and I'm not saying that nothing happens. I'm saying that, uh, of course, when you have somebody, the, the story of a journey is always going to be different uh, from the story of something that happens in one fixed place. That's logical, right? So, uh, I, I don't think comparing them really makes sense because uh, you might as well compare uh, Gormengast with 1984. So you wouldn't think of comparing the two because they're so different. That is why even though they're both Lord of the Rings and Gormengast are both classified as fantasy, they're not the same type of fantasy. They're different 
things, very different things. And I don't think you can say which is better because they're not the same style, they're not the same genre, really. Personally, in my opinion, they are not the same genre. I mean, like I said, one moves around a lot, the other one just mostly stays there. And even uh, the third volume, Titus, alone, uh, it's very, it's much more focused on the characters. So I think the difference between uh, Lord of the Rings and Gormengast, and the reason why I would hesitate to compare the two, Lord of the Rings is more exterior focused, more focused on ev events coming from outside, from events that the characters have to react to, this kind of stuff, and Gormengast is more inward focused, more focused on uh, the emotions of the character, most fo more focused on uh, the atmosphere of the castle of Gormengast, so it's, uh, it's a different, th there are two different things, so I'm not going to go into that debate about which is better, because uh, they're both extremely good in their own way. So, I know a lot of people, and I hope uh, I hope I'm not offending anyone, a lot of uh, people kind of like in that, I hope, I know none of you are in that ca category, who want to be uh, above the others and say that uh, they're not, uh, you know, involved with the masses, they're going to say, Oh no, Gormengast is better because it's intellectual. But the thing is, <laughs> they're not. They're different. They're both clever novels, just in very different ways. So don't compare them. I mean, I think comparing such things and saying this is better, this is worse, just takes away uh, the joy of things. Because why not have two awesome books instead of one book that is more awesome than the other? What's the, what's the point, really? <laughs> so, yeah, this is this is my opinion. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's open to discussion. But uh, the third part, the third part was a bit uh, depressing for me. It kind of ended in a way that left me a bit... Okay, no, so what? <laughs> now what? Uh, but... Um, yeah, I, I understand that it's partly due to uh, the author's personal life and uh, partly due to emotions that he wanted to convey, that he probably wanted to project on his character. So it's not, it, it makes sense. Uh, I understand that. I just liked, uh, liked the first two parts much better. But part three is very good as well. My favorite was part one, because uh, I was new to the place. I wasn't really, I, I didn't really know what to expect. And it was, it was a very dark, very gloomy atmosphere. Part two started to be a bit more humorous uh, at first, but then it uh, evolved into something uh, quite dark. So, yeah. I think it's an enjoyable book. It's not an easy book to read. But like I said, it's very big and with a lot of descriptions, but you need those descriptions. So um, those of you who haven't read it, haven't read it, uh, give it a chance. I'm, I'm sure you'll like it. Right, that's about it. My first review without um, <laughs> any technical support whatsoever. <laughs> I hope... Uh, I didn't bore you, because, yeah, a lot of the comic relief has just been got, uh, taken away. All right. <laughs> uh, this, I know I promised three reviews and two reviews uh, today, but uh, you'll get a review on Monday, so don't worry about it. But uh, you'll get only this one today. And actually, technically, let's say it's more than one review because it's three books so i know it's uh, technically an entire but it's uh, an entire book made made of three volumes so <laughs> let's say let's say this uh, you know this compensates 
but uh, I do promise that uh, you'll have one tomorrow. And uh, as a hint, I'm going to give you a hint. Uh, it's a science fiction author, and he is very well known. He is one of my favorites. So, uh, but that's that's only that's the only thing I'm going to say. You'll have to see tomorrow in the evening. All right. Have a great day, as great as you can have under the circumstances. Try to keep yourself distracted. Uh, keep safe. Stay inside and read.